Welcome back, lovely people. As promised, this is chapter two of the series I'm doing on earnings analysis using Bloomberg. Today, we look at the EA function, which stands for earnings analysis. This one shows that sales and profit surprises for any index of choice. Let's see how this works. First, we load the ticker for the S&P, which is SPX, and then type EA and go. There are four sections in this view, as always the control area at the top, the sales and earnings at the center, and then at the bottom we have the historical analysis on the left and the price reaction on the right. Let's focus first on the sales and earnings table, this one at the center with all the colored bars. At the top near all securities, we see how many have reported for the current quarter, in this case just over half. Then underneath we have the breakdown by sector and the color bars tell us how many of the companies in that sector have underperformed or exceeded expectations. The white portion of the bar indicates that there is a percentage of companies that reported sales and profits in line with forecasts. So at the first glance we can see that so far profits look okay relative to expectations except for one sector, which is communications, for which the aggregate profit surprise is a negative 5%. I suspect that the overall good picture is also a result of forecasts being revised downwards last year when we were talking about recession all the time, if you remember. I can get more granular than this in my analysis. For example, uh, if I click on the comms sector, I get another breakdown of media and telecoms, and if I click on all securities, then I can see the actual stocks names with the relative reporting date and the deviation from forecasts. If we click on the arrow in the top left, we can go back to the previous view. I want to say that the only problem with this table at the center is that this data is very short term because it's the surprises for this quarter only. Luckily, if we look at the bottom left, we can see the historical trends for both sales in orange and earnings in blue. So looking at the past two years, we see that sales have stayed more or less stable, but profits have come down significantly. Why is that? Well, of course, this is because of cost inflation reducing margins. Let's now move to the price reaction chart on the right, where we can see how sectors reacted to the latest earnings announcement. If we click on the title, we can maximize it, which is helpful because it's a busy chart. Each of the diamonds in the chart represents a Bloomberg sector. We see, for example, that utilities are down 2% since the latest reporting quarter started, which seems strange because the surprise was overall 4% ahead of forecasts. This is because correlation does not imply causation, and the chart just shows price movements compared to surprises on the y-axis. It doesn't necessarily imply a causal link, so utilities could be down for other reasons. We can customize this chart by increasing the time frame up to 30 years, we can filter by sector on the left and then switch between sector and securities at the top. And also lastly, we can move from the earnings view to the sales view. For example, here select consumer staples, remove everything else and then switch to securities. If we change the chart to a period of five days so that we can capture as many reporting stocks as possible, we see that there is a positive relationship between the earnings surprise and the stock price performance. In the next video, we will have a look at this other tab that opens once we click on the name of one security. And in general, we will look at how to analyze single stocks in more detail. That's all for today. I hope this was useful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.